Fairy story time. Time for a fairy story. The Year Sevens have put together a little fairy story entitled Cinderella, and this will be Year Seven's last time on stage at such a large function before they go into high school. So hopefully this will give them the opportunity to fine tune their skills in readiness for high school years. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to welcome our narrators, Sarah and Kim, and ask them please to introduce Year Seven with Cinderella. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a few minutes of culture. This is a love story that compares with the big ones of our time, like Romeo and Juliet, Antony and Cleopatra, and yes, Sonny and Skippy. <laughs> if you find yourself overcome with emotion, please use your own hanky to blow your nose. I ask you now to welcome the stars. Two oversized garden gnomes caused her great discomfort. She always is down on food, clothes and attention. Even when the family went water skiing, Cindy had to go barefoot. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
you could see, Cinderella let her dog fly. She needed to have a stomach like a dog to eat some of the food she was given. At night, instead of sitting around the fire like everyone else, Cindy had to suck hot peppers to keep warm. <laughs> However, today was the day of Prince Moss's ball, and Prince Moss was busily preparing the castle. Hey, cook! Come here! Yes, Royal Prince Moss? Is the tucker ready for tonight's ball? No way! It's all under control. It better be. If you blow this man, you're finished. You mean? Yes. You'll be punched out by the palace football team and have your boogie board smashed. Have mercy! <laughs> Don't worry, I was only joking about the boogie board. Thank you, I think. Off you go before I call the football team. Hey, Captain! <laughs> yes, Prince Bob? Have you sent the invites to all the chicks in the kingdom? Yes, Prince Bob. Every good sort in the land will be coming. Top! Have you booked a band? Yes, sir. They call Dire Straits. If they don't show up, that's what you'll be in. Yes, your monster. Dire Straits. <laughs> and before you go, tell me, what month is it? April, sir. Ah, yes. As I thought, time for a shower. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, back in Cinderella's house, everybody was getting ready for the ball. The two ugly stepsisters had just returned from the bakery where they worked making gorilla biscuits. <laughs> Their mother was trying to make them look beautiful, and that was impossible. Cindy, however, had to stay home and rebate the mouth chats. <laughs>
The dance was in full swing. The prince was anxiously awaiting the arrival of any good looking sort. Finally, Cindy arrived. <laughs> The fairy godmother gave Cindy a lovely coach and he carried her to the ball. Good evening, Prince Mom. Hello, how about a dance? Sure. <laughs> Sugar. 
Sugar. Pass me the honey. Honey. Pass me the tea. Bag. <laughs> Please. 